Another day, another story. Hi fellow dog breeders. The professor here, bringing you another video filled with breeder information. Today it's all about the heat cycle. Remember, if you like the video, please push the thumbs up button, share the video, and hit that beautiful subscribe button please. In this video I will discuss 1. What are the signs? 2. When does estrus start? 3. How often do dogs go into heat? 4. The estrus cycle. 5. Care. 6. Heat shot. There comes a time in the life of an intact female dog when they're ready to breed. This period is called being in heat. The stage of heat, also called estrus or season, has distinct physical and behavioral signs. Many of the estrus factors, such as frequency, length of time, and severity, are dependent on your dog's age and breed. Your dog may have symptoms that are particular to them. What are the signs? Keep a leash handy, because your dog may have to urinate more when she's in heat. You may also observe that her vulva is large, red, or swollen with some bleeding or blood-tinted discharge. Your dog will only bleed for around half of the total cycle, usually 7 to 10 days. Generally, bigger dogs bleed more than smaller dogs, but it varies between dogs. Some dogs bleed very little. If your dog prides itself on their appearance and grooms itself regularly, you probably won't find much blood spotting around the house. Your dog's behavior will likely change as well. She may. 1. Be overly friendly with other dogs. 2. Seek out male dogs. 3. Mount or hump. 4. Turn her tail to the side. 5. Fidget or be nervous. 6. Be overly aggressive toward humans. Even though your dog will bleed, she isn't in pain during the heat. However, being in heat can make your dog uncomfortable and fidgety. If her symptoms seem to be causing her pain, consult your vet. Many pet owners today are turning to CBD oil for calming pets. It can be effective in both cats and dogs. When does estrus start? Every dog is different. With dogs, a key factor depends on your dog's size. Smaller dogs can go into heat as soon as they are four months old. Larger breeds may not first go into heat until they are 10 to 24 months old. On average, the first heat begins at around six months of age. Even though they are old enough to get pregnant, your young dog's eggs aren't yet fully matured. Waiting until after the second estrus cycle will promote a healthy pregnancy. I once got a puppy back from a breeder at nine months old. Well, to my surprise, at ten months she had her first litter. She was excellent just like her mother. Unlike the breeder who I got her back from, I skipped her mother's first heat. I spoke on this experience to go back to my first statement, all dogs are different. We are speaking for the majority. 
How often do dogs go into heat? Similar to the start time, the exact frequency of estrus depends on your dog's size, breed, and age. Female dogs who have not been spayed go into heat twice a year, around every six months. Each heat cycle lasts around 18 days, for generally anywhere from two to three weeks. The frequency depends on your dog, but her estrus cycles should be consistent. If these are inconsistent, your vet can determine if your dog has irregular seasons. As your dog gets older, the frequency of her seasons may slow down. However, she will be going into heat for her whole life. Even though she goes into heat less often, she can still get pregnant. The estrus cycle The canine estrus cycle has four stages. 1. Proestrus. The beginning of heat lasts between 7 and 10 days. During this time, the vulva begins to swell and your dog begins to bleed. She will start attracting male dogs, but she isn't ready to mate yet. 2. Estrus. This is the mating period of the estrus cycle. It lasts 5 to 10 days. Bleeding may reduce or stop. Your dog is ready to mate during this time. 3. Diestrus. This period lasts anywhere from 10 to 140 days. Your dog is either pregnant during this time or in a rest period. 4. Anestrus. This is the period of downtime before the next heat cycle, lasting around 6 months. Care. If your dog is in heat, She'll require a bit of extra supervision and care. She'll be feeling hormonal. Keeping her entertained and distracted will help relieve some of her anxiety and discomfort. Different walks will also help her to reduce stress. Not only will she be attracting male dogs, but she'll be attracted back. To avoid pregnancy, you'll probably want to keep her away from other non-neutered dogs. This is true even in your household. If you're worried about your dog bleeding around the house, you can create a limited space for her to roam in. This usually means restricting her to easy-to-clean areas without carpeted floors or upholstered furniture. Creating a nest for your dog to nap in with towels to catch the blood will help prevent any accidents from occurring. Doggy diapers can also help control bleeding accidents. Your dog's needs while she is in heat, may vary. This can be a challenge and a big responsibility. If you want to avoid pregnancy, you can have your dog surgically sterilized before her first season. Since the timing of the first heat cycle varies, these procedures are recommended before she is six months old. Heat shot explained. Some dog breeders advocate inducing heat for dog breeding by jump starting heat. This is certainly possible by using hormonal active drugs that interfere with the normal cycle of the bitch by interrupting the corpus luteum bodies on the ovary so that they stop producing progesterone. However, there are very specific and restricted circumstances where such a course should be considered. One is where a bitch has high testosterone levels. If your bitch is very aggressive you may opt to look into this option. 
Many breeders use such drugs in bitches that have a long interval between heats, of a year or more, to get them to cycle more frequently. The practice is common in greyhound circles. One major disadvantage is that an induced heat is not as fertile as a spontaneous one. The litter size is likely to be smaller. So if your bitch is already cycling every six or so months, you are better off simply waiting until she is ready than to try and force the issue. This is compensated with the ovulation shot. If used right before the actual mating process it causes additional eggs to drop, hence bigger litter sizes. The two paired together have become known as IVF for dogs. Available at dogsupplierus.com If your bitch has never cycled, you also run the risk of sabotaging her reproductive performance for the rest of her life, ruining a good dog. If the dog is not fully mature, breeders tend to wait until at least 18 months of age. The artificial hormone effectively tells her body that she is fully developed and as a result, she may fail to develop further, including within her reproductive system. Her subsequent heats, if she has them at all, may become irregular. So, only to be used, if at all, in mature bitches, one year of age or older, who have already had a few natural heats as best.